Hummer has historically been a brand known for its super heavy-duty off-roaders, which have been subject to a lot of scrutiny by environmentalists. It seems the brand has been on a bit of a gap year, taking time out to find itself. The rebirth of the Hummer brand is now in full swing, and rumors are turning into facts about the latest model. The Hummer EV will be an all-electric model in two flavors, SUV and open-back pickup, and will borrow design cues from the original Hummer. These rugged off-roaders previously favored diesel engines over petrol engines, thanks to the high torque figures, but the 2022 model claims more than 26 times as much torque as the first-generation H1. The EV promises more than 15,500 newton meters combined with 1,000 horsepower in top spec. This, combined with the Watts to Freedom launch control, pushed the EV to 60 miles per hour in around three seconds. It's not just the acceleration figures that are similar to those claimed by Tesla's Cybertruck. The Hummer also features driverless tech. Supercruise supports hands-free driving and automatic lane changing on more than 200,000 miles of roads and counting. Where the 2022 Hummer comes into its own is its off-road ability. All but the base model are fitted with air suspension as standard, which allows the car to raise and lower its suspension to suit different driving modes. Designed for sticky situations, Extract Mode raises the car by an additional 6 inches. The car also features an independent front and rear suspension setup. While the EV comes with 35-inch tyres, the wheel arches are built to accommodate tyres up to 37 inches. And on that matter, while rear-wheel steering may be quite common these days, General Motors have modified this to allow all wheels to turn at the same angle so that the car moves in a diagonal direction. Called crab walk, it's good for avoiding sharp obstacles, but owners will also enjoy this feature when parallel parking in town. No fewer than 18 views are available around the car, making up what Hummer calls ultravision thanks to 360-degree cameras, including waterproof underbody cameras to help the driver analyse obstacles beneath the vehicle. No need to worry though, the lenses are washable and the lens protectors are replaceable if they do end up getting damaged. Inside, drivers will notice that the cabin is flooded with light thanks to the transparent roof. These modular sky panels can be individually removed as part of the new Infinity roof design, perfect for that hot desert weather. While many manufacturers struggle to make room to store a parcel shelf in the vehicle, Hummer incorporated storage for all the roof panels inside the frunk. Elsewhere, drivers can specify a 14-speaker Bose audio system, controlled through the 13.4-inch infotainment display. An additional 12.3-inch screen replaced the need for a traditional instrument cluster and shows real-time off-road information. Drivers can use this screen to monitor the 350-mile range, a far cry from the Cybertruck's 500 miles. Where the Hummer EV stands out is its ultra-rapid charging capabilities. 100 miles in 10 minutes thanks to an 800-volt, 350-kilowatt setup. Outside, a full-width headlight bar takes the place of a grille, helping to maintain the Hummer's dominating road presence. The $112,000 Edition 1 arrives this fall, a whole year before the $100,000 EV3X model, which features a toned-down 800-horsepower three-motor powertrain. Spring 2023 and Spring 2024 see the 625-horsepower two-motor versions arrive and the $90,000 EV2X and the $80,000 EV2. All of this after a decade of silence from the brand. Will this rebirth be more successful than the last rise and subsequent fall of Hummer? Let's take a step back in time when, in 1983, AM General won a $1.2 billion contract to develop a high-mobility multi-purpose wheeled vehicle, a name which was often referred to by its acronym HMMWV, later nicknamed Humvee by soldiers. It would scale 60% grades, climb 22-inch steps and wade through 30 inches of water, traits that accelerated its popularity in the 1991 Gulf War. Having built a name for itself, the brand launched a road-going model in 1992, which weighed 7,000 pounds, running at around 10 miles per gallon. With little movement in the civilian market, AM General sold to General Motors in 1998, who rebranded the Humvee as the H1. Later, the H2 arrived, built on a modified Chevrolet Tahoe platform, and the H3, which was built alongside the Chevrolet Colorado and the GMC Canyon. Neither model would achieve more than 20 miles per gallon. This is partly to blame for the demise of the brand. The Hummer faced criticism from environmental groups and heightened demand from consumers for more efficient models as a result of the economic downturn towards the end of the noughties. The longest-serving model, the H1, sold less than 12,000 examples in its 14-year run. The amount of work needed to cure its environmental woes was so extensive that, in February 2010, GM announced that it would be phasing out the brand after an unsuccessful attempt selling the brand to Sichuan Tenzhong Heavy Industrial Machinery Company Limited, a move that was allegedly halted by the Chinese Ministry of Commerce. The last H3 rolled off the line at the Shreveport factory in May that year, but the legacy lived on. 
To this day, companies are completing custom work on various Hummer models, even transforming them into stretch limousines. Many years later, in 2017, Arnold Schwarzenegger helped Chrysler Electric electrify an H1 in a prototype. A huge fan of the original Hummer, he and the company had previously electrified a G-Wagon. Once again, the company began to resurface as rumors hit the fan in mid-2019. By that November, General Motors CEO Mary Barra confirmed in a press release that the company would be building an electric truck ready for fall 2021, but details on its name remained scarce. A company-wide strike resulted in GM committing to save its Hamtramck facility in Detroit, repurposing its use as an electric truck assembly plant. The new BT1 electric truck platform would accommodate three brands. Cadillac, likely an Escalade, Chevrolet, maybe a Silverado, and a mysterious unnamed third brand. Almost a decade of absence in the automotive market came to an end when, in January 2020, teaser videos of an electric Hummer were released by General Motors. This time around, the name would be revived not as a standalone brand, but as a model sitting under the GMC brand. Now known as the GMC Hummer EV, its arrival could not be better timed. The coming years will see competition from a range of seasoned companies as well as some newcomers in the form of the Tesla Cybertruck, Rivian R1T, Ford F-150 EV and Bollinger B2. The success of the Hummer EV depends hugely on the direction of the automotive market over the coming decade. With deadlines set as soon as 2030 for a ban on petrol and diesel vehicles in many states and countries across the globe, automakers are having to think fast. If we're heading in an electric direction, the 2022 Hummer has potential to reignite a flame inside many drivers' hearts, allowing them to reconnect with an iconic dream, which could even spur on further models targeted at different audiences. Key to Hummer's success in the electric market will be its pricing. If a more affordable model were to follow, then the story of Hummer may very well live on. Let us know what you think about the latest electrified Hummer, and whether you would buy a less capable, more road-friendly model in the future.